Welcome to my first look stroke pro bike of my Animal UK mountain trike. Now, this is a wheelchair with a real difference. And uh, I know you guys are used to looking at like the high end mountain bikes out there. Well, let me give you a guarantee. This is as high end as wheelchairs come. And I've been lucky enough to get this one built for me by mountain trike. Thankfully, Animal paid for it. Um, they're a great sponsor of mine. They looked after me on this project. Um, and I'm amazed to say I've got this bike and I absolutely love it. I've used it a little bit around Bath, um, which is a city in the UK. It's got some very steep hills. Uh, it climbs really well, it descends. It's got three wheels. It's got a rear wheel at the back, steered by this little bo boom here. You push the levers to go forwards. You can drop them away to get them out of the way. And obviously it goes off road, which is something I really struggle to do on a wheelchair. Now, when the drive is engaged, these levers propel each wheel. It's done by a gearing system that drives from this 22 chain ring straight down to a direct drive on each wheel. So I can control the power from either wheel, but because it's got an independent steering, I can push with just one arm if I want, do selfies while I'm going along, which is nice. Um, obviously, because it's got uh, an option on chain ring size, it means I can make this bespoke to me. And I'm actually probably gonna go up to 24s because I feel like I could push a little bit more. But it's a really, really different way to propel the wheelchair. Well, usually I'd be pushing hand rims on either side, which also works as my braking and my steering. On this bike, it's all been split up into its own individual system. Power, steering, and braking, just like on a bike. As a mountain biker, one thing I really love is suspension, and this mountain trike has got three RockShox Monarchs on it. It's got one at the rear there, which obviously helps suspend that rear linkage system and gives me a bit of leverage when I'm pushing the drive handles, uh, and then one on either side for each wheel for when I'm going over the rough terrain. And it feels awesome from the stuff I've tried so far. Uh, I'm looking forward to pushing the old suspension as far as I can. and playing with the settings a little bit, because I haven't done that yet. Let's talk rubber, yes. Now, the mountain trike is used in 24 inch wheels. It came with some sturdier spike mud tires on it than this, but I couldn't resist the opportunity to move over to some Danny Mac signature Continentals. Look at these bad boys. They're not quite as off-road as I could have on here, but I like riding a bit of street. It's recognizable to me as a 24 inch wheeled trials bike tire, uh, so I went with that. Um, and it is actually working off-road pretty well, as you can see. Mountain trike comes standard with these 24 inch halo rims and hubs. Uh, I'm actually moving over to some orange Hope hubs, which I'm really excited about. And Tim at Mountain Trike is building those wheels up at the moment, so I haven't got them on yet. But these are working really well, and it do have to take an awful lot of flex when you're on a camber. So they've got to be a strong wheel to hold up for that. Uh, but I am looking forward to seeing that little bit of orange bling down on the hub. I've missed my Hope hubs. Really, bird? Really? Bit? Can you, would you just, could you just, would you mind you, could you just, is you, I'm looking at you. Stop. Could you just give it a rest? Thank you. Okay, let's play shut up, you go first. Now the braking, I absolutely love. I'm using Hopes like I like to do. They're a great brand and I'm a good friend of theirs. Um, this also works as the parking brake on the mountain trike. So once I click this little device over here, the brakes are suddenly free to work and the parking brake is off. I'm using a one lever system at the moment. So this lever actually actuates both brakes. So when I pull that, both wheels lock. I'm actually going to move over to a two lever system where I've got a brake for either side um, because I think on the downhills I'll be able to edge forward on those brakes and use them as another version of steering when the rear wheel's off the ground. So that's going to be really cool to learn about that and see how it works. The steering for the mountain trike is ingenious. It's such an incredible solution. Check this action out. Look at that. A cable system that means I can still push for power but steer at the same time, which is just such a cool feeling, and that rear wheel twists me round. Feels a little bit like a forklift truck steering, the back end sweeps round. Such a clever solution. Tim is a clever guy. That's the guy who designed it, obviously. 
So that's the mountain trike. I'm absolutely loving it. I can't wait to see where it's gonna take me. Look forward to seeing this out on the trails. I'm hopefully gonna be alongside the boys out on some of the how-to videos, which would be really awesome. Getting out in the woods, thanks to the mountain trike. Uh, thanks for watching my pro bike. Oh, I haven't done one of them in a while. Keep with GMBM by clicking on the logo to subscribe. And of course, give us a thumbs up like if you think free-wheeled mountain trikes are a totally awesome idea. Of course you do.